close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths, and notice where you feel the breathing. Let your attention settle right there and stay right there. Each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out, just stay with that sensation of the breath coming in, the breath going out. Allow it to be open and comfortable. Don't make it too tight. Think of the breath as wanting to come in and wanting to go out. You don't have to force anything, just allow these processes to happen. As for any other thoughts that come through, you can just let them go. That doesn't mean the thoughts won't come through, they will come through, but you don't have to get involved. This is an important skill in learning how to, not only how to meditate, but learning also how to live with other people. Things come in, and you have to choose whether, you have to choose whether it's worth getting involved with or not. And so many times we carry a lot of stuff around. So much stuff that when something new comes in and it's demanding or takes a lot of time or energy, we feel like we're overwhelmed. Well, if we carried a lot less, then we wouldn't feel so overwhelmed by the things that are happening around us. So it's, it's important that we learn how to let go. This is a trick to one of the important qualities that we need in our relationship with other people, and that's endurance. In other words, just putting up with difficulties, putting up with harsh words, putting up with painful situations. We have to be able to learn how to find the strength that we can carry through with these things and not get worn out. And the main trick here is learning how not to carry a lot of stuff around. It's like being a person bur burdened with all kinds of things. Someone else puts a feather on top of the burden and you just come crashing down. Now, if the bur person weren't bur burdened with all those things, you put a feather on the person, the person would hardly notice it at all. So this is where we are. We carry a lot of things around. We, we do something and we keep it, stick it in a bag. If someone else does that, we take it and stick it in a bag. And John Lee gives a comparison. It's like, plowing a field, he says, and it's like you're plowing it, and the, as the dirt falls off the plow, you put it in a bag. If you kept on doing that, you wouldn't get very far across the field. And so it is with us, even though we may think the things are, we do are not dirt, but they do weigh us down if we carry them around. Especially, you know, this person said that, that person said this, and you carry a grudge for a long period of time. And that person, all, all that person has to do is look at you, and you're ready to throw everything back at the person. Now, that's not wise. If you learn how to let go, let go, let go, you find you can deal more easily with a lot of difficult situations because you're not carrying those burdens around. So try to think of this as a skill with which you're helping not only yourself but also other people. The Buddha said there are four attitudes you have to bring to your interactions with other people that are helpful both for them and for you. And in endurance is the number one. It's so when you start out with the others are deciding that you're going to be harm, harmless, you're not going to harm them in any way, you're going to have goodwill for the other person, and you're going to be sympathetic. The difference between goodwill and sympathy is you try to figure out, in the case of sympathy, you're trying to figure out, well, how, what are those person's feelings right now? If I were in that person's shoes, how would I feel at this moment? And that's an important skill to develop. As far as goodwill, that's just goodwill in general. You wish for everybody to be happy. You wish for the other person to be happy. You wish for your own happiness. So you can develop these qualities, starting with endurance. And that's the bedrock for all the others. If it, it's a lot easier to have goodwill for others. It's a lot easier to be harmless. It's a lot easier to be sympathetic. If you can develop this, this skill of learning how to endure things and not be weighed down by them. In other words, not weighing yourself down by them. So keep this in mind. This is one of the important skills we develop as we meditate, and it's an important skill that we need to bring into our lives to help us and to help others. That way we can go through life unburdened and actually having gifts to offer. The gift of our harmlessness, the gift of our goodwill, the gift of our sympathy. So learn if something is not worth holding on to, just let it go. Especially bad stuff. It's like carrying garbage around with you. Other people said something really horrible to you, you carry it around for a long time. It's like having really nice luggage and you open the luggage and there's nothing but last year's garbage inside. So even though the luggage may look good, it's your luggage, just throw it away. It's not worth keeping that kind of stuff. And that way you find that life is not nearly the burden that you thought it was. And you're stronger in helping other people too, and in helping yourself. <laughs>